I want to. So I'm always trying to go to these spaces to reach and get all crazy. Give me a hollow, buy a shelter, buy a shelter, buy a shelter, buy a shelter, Yahweh is the true name of our heavenly Father, and where we know is God, Jehovah, Yahweh Shai is the name of the known to God, His Son, our King, Lord, and Savior, whom the world in we know is Jesus Christ. By Hashem, Rakhakadash is in the name of the Holy Spirit. It's the inspiration given to us to edify those that have been given to His to hear. You know, the harvest to the apostles and elders, the great millstone, the many tongues, and truth, peace, salutations to the hope of the elect, faith, and the and the truth of His word, and prayer and children. Shalom to the believers, the men, women, children that subscribe and listen to this word wholeheartedly, the spirit of power of the outwash and outside. Right? So we're going to get into prophecy. Right? As you see, we've been titled uh, Prophesy the Year of the Redeemed. The Year of the Redeemed, man. Which we understand the word redeemed goes into what? Save. Right? Save. My back. Right? And uh, before we get into Isaiah 63, uh, the Spirit called in my Ephesians, the Ephesians uh, 5 and 14. My name is Tom. Yup. Uh, uh, I started 14. Right. It's Ephesians 5 and 14. Wherefore he said, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and your house shall should give thee light. Yeah, awake thou that sleepest. Who is that talking about? Okay, the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Hispanics, who are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, the sons of God, not so long, the Christian power, to wake up out of their spiritually dead state. Right? To Revelation 11, 8, grab that real quick, but um, let's speak about this. Yeah. They are dead bodies. Go ahead. This is, a, this is Revelation chapter 11, verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, which today translates to America. Spiritually, America is the modern day Sodom and Egypt. And Sodom, we know what that means, we know what that ties to. And Egypt represents bondage. Contrary to the popular belief, what America teaches us is that you are in the land of the free, the so-called land of the free, but really you are in the land of your captivity. You not knowing that puts you in a dead state of mind or a state of sleep, spiritually sleep. Go back. Yeah. Well, also our Lord was crucified. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's the word light in the Greek. Yeah. It's the word light in the Greek. 2017. Epiphasco. Epiphasco. Yeah. Yeah. Light. Yeah, light. Yeah. It sounds like epic. <laughs> Epiphasco. Epic. Yeah. And they say, outline biblical usage. You shine upon. Your house that will pour upon you the divine truth. If the sun gives light to man a while to sleep. And how a shine will pour upon you the divine truth that does what? So you go back to you. That's the best photo right there, isn't it? The divine truth is sun, if the sun gives light to man a while to sleep. And the sun gives light to man to rise from sleep. Man, that's cold, man. Because that's like, when I'm sleep, that's how I like to wake up. I like for the sun to come through my blinds and wake me up. I did that this morning, man. Because you know, at nighttime, I close my blinds, you know, close my blinds, close my curtains, and I like it to be dark. Then when I wake up, the first thing I do, you know, open up my blinds and let the light shine. Right, there you but see, that spiritually, what this word does, man. And how is that word, see? When he said where our Lord was crucified, what it means is where we ultimately lost sight of Yahweh Shai. Because he's the, he's the light that rises us up to uh, righteousness, to the Heavenly Father. Okay? So here, they took that away. They put up uh, darkness for light. 
you know? Like again, uh, Papa Roma do a live thing entitled The Dark Light, you know? Which is the light of the week, okay? So we're in the times of evil, where he's giving you artificial light. The scripture say the, uh, the, knowledge of the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom, man. So it's not, even though they prospering in a wicked way, you know, they have a, a lifestyle of wickedness that they're promoting and pushing and rewarding people that engage in. Hey, that's why I say my gospel here is hid for them are lost. Unless I light on the glory of gospel, yep. so so shine upon them. Shine unto them. Yeah, but the, uh, the, the God of this world has blinded them. The God of this world is Esau Edom. All right, the physical counterpart is still to be the same. Yep. Y'all got it. So going back to Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that you walk so suspected, not as fools, but as wise. We deem it the time because the days are evil. We deem it the time, man. Because the days are evil. Mm -hmm. You know? Because righteousness is only coming back to those that are investing their time in righteousness. Right? Let's get that word redeemed. Righteousness is only coming back to those that are investing their time in righteousness. But you got to be awakened to righteousness. Yeah. yeah uh, why did he get that? Uh, Psalms G1805. Exagarazzo. Exagarazzo. Why in the outline of biblical usage from the uh, Blue Letter Bible, of the word redeem, it said by payment of a price to recover from the power of another. Payment or price. The payment of a price to recover from the power of another. From the power of another. And whose power are we under? The, the, hey, the earth is given to the hands of the wicked. Yep. Right? Say, uh, man, what's that? Is that Micah? Because it's in the power of their hands? Micah 2 and 1. Right? Let's get that real quick. Because that's ultimately the evil times is being brought forth by Esau Edom. The wicked, the devil the Bible speaks of, he's the reason that the times on earth are evil. Yeah. So you're trying to buy back the times, and the only way to do it is to wait to righteousness. You got it off. It's Michael 2 and 1. Walter down that the buy significant and walk evil upon their bed. To devise iniquity and work evil upon their bed. Go ahead. When the morning is light, they practice it. No, yeah, when the morning is light, they practice it. So that's a deception. So they're bringing forth evil in the midst of light. <laughs> they got you fucked up, man. Thinking it's all good. You got it out. When the morning is light, they practice it. Because it is in the power of their hand. Because it's in the power of their hand. Right. Oh, let's go back. So go back to the definition of redeem in the um, Blue Letter Bible, Allah Biblical Usage. A, by payment of a price to recover from the power of another to ransom by all. B, metaphor of Yahweh Shai freeing the elect for Ooh. the dominion of the Mos Moses law, Mosaic. Law, law. Yeah. It's the price of his vigorous death. Yeah. Yeah. It said to buy up, to buy up for oneself, for one use, to make wise and sacred use of every opportunity for doing good. <laughs> so the zeal and well doing uh, is it where the purchase money. Read that again, yeah. Read that part again. Uh, opportunity. We were bought with a price. Yeah, we bought with a price. Yeah. But it's a uh, yeah, read that part. And hey, it's spirit 414. I'll put it up until the first. Call out your book. I'm sorry. Allah and Bibi uses the second definition eight. <clears throat> it said to make wise and sacred use 
on every opportunity for doing good. Ecclesiastes 4, verse 20. Look at say, Ah, that's done. Right? <laughs> that's done with dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a, observe the opportunity and beware of evil. And be not ashamed when it concerneth thy soul. <laughs> Say, observe the opportunity and beware of evil, man. So you go back to that part that definition a lot. Yep. To make wise and sacred use of every opportunity for doing good. So that zeal and well-doing, or is it what approaches money by which we make the time our own? We are bought with which we make the time our own. See? Yep. So we're trying to buy back the time of righteousness and peace on the planet Earth. But in order to do that, we have to observe these times where evil is the standard and do right. Like I said, those that invest in righteousness will uh, receive righteousness, yep. you know? Yep. And the NFT of that, Ephesians 5 and 16, make the most of every opportunity in these evil days. How can you make the most? By doing the work. Yep. <laughs> you see? So you all said what? Uh, teach your body is a living sacrifice, which is what? Please don't to your eyes about shot. So time is money, they say. So you pay back the Lord what? With your time. Yo, God. It's first Corinthians chapter six, verse twenty. For ye are both with a This first Corinthians. This first Corinthians chapter uh, 5, verse 19. 6, verse 19. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Holy Ghost? I know the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, which is in you, which ye have of the Most High, and ye are not your own. For ye are bought with a price. You are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify the Most High, your body and your spirit, which are the most high. That's it. So make the most of every opportunity in these evil days. Redeeming the time. Let's go back to this. <laughs> and going back to making your body a living sacrifice. Yep. You know, holy and acceptable to the most high. Yep. Where every every work that you do, do it in honor of your home I see how shot. Just tell us that everything we do, we do it as if we're going to the Lord. Right. So everything that you process in your mind to do, find some way for it to be a glory and an honor to the Lord. If you do that in everything you do, <laughs> and while the Lord say, uh, meditate on these things. Uh, Joshua 1 and 8, then shall thy ways be possible. Then shall thy have good success. Yeah. Ephesians 5, 15, see then that you also respect me, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Understanding what the will of the Lord is, which requires constant and continual labor. Yes. And that's why you see us constantly and continually putting out uh, videos. You know, going into topics over and over and over again. Because one thing about it is, Jake is rehearsing the righteous acts. Anytime you rehearse something, that means you go over it, you practice it. You do it innumerable amounts of time until you perfect it. Because one thing I noticed about life and your truth is that you certain, you're certain to experience things more than once. And the way that you handle things is ultimately uh, determined, the way that you handle things is ultimately, ultimately is what determines whether or not the spirit of the Lord is working on you. The judgment of the Lord is supposed to go forward out of your vessel. Okay? And every opportunity you've got 
to show forth the judgment of the Lord, you supposed to, that's what you're supposed to do. So the Lord will have you, you know, go through things over and over again, and until you're able to administer his judgment, you know what I'm saying? Until you get it. Until you get it. Until you understand what to do. What to do. They say, I watch a man fall seven times but and get it back get up. Back up. Because you can cuss and fail to test and the most I can keep sending your way until you what? Until you pass. Yup. You know? Yup. That's how you find back the because it, it's a time that this thing is going to happen. And when it happens, you got to be wise in that time and that opportunity to administer the rights and judgment of the Lord. Yep. Just like the Just like the scripture, you guys. This is Judges chapter 5, verse 11. They that are delivered from the noise of archers in a place of drawing water, there shall they rehearse the righteous act of the Lord. Oh, rehearse the righteous acts under pressure. You know? Nah, you ain't just rehearsing and practicing against cones, against the error. You know, yeah, everybody can, can make the open shot, you know, in practice. You know, everybody can uh, get the play right when it ain't no uh, defense. But the Lord say, we're going to have to do this uh, in the place of uh, archers in the land of drawn waters, basically in our captivity. Shit, while we being afflicted. Putting the pressure on you. <laughs> well, we are in the country. Yeah. And it's a saying, uh, practice may come. Yeah. Yeah, that's what the Lord told us to do. Be uh, perfect with your part in, in, in heaven. So, well, I want to say Matthew 5 and 4 so, Even the righteous acts towards the inhabitants of his village in Israel. And then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gate. And it's a saying in the world, pressure bus pipe, where pressure also make diamonds make precious stones, you know. Uh, pressure makes you better if you can endure the pressure, you know. If you can take the, uh, you can deal with the suffering, the pain. The heat. The heat. You can take the heat. Hey, gold on the fire. So one thing about that too, I was telling you, yeah, gold is tried in the fire. One thing I was telling somebody, I can't remember what it was. But, makes the pressure rise. Like the hotter the hotter it is, the higher the pressure. You see? That's why in the summertime, when it's real hot, when you're trying to work out or work or do something in the heat, it's more pressure on your body. You be more exhausted, you be more drained. It put more pressure on you. You got it. We'll go back to the uh, first Corinthians 15 34. Yeah, yeah. It's first Corinthians chapter 15, verse 34. Awake to righteousness and sin not. For some have not the knowledge of the most high. I speak this to your shame. Some have not the knowledge of the most high. I speak this to your shame. Now jump back to Sirach 4 and 21. If you read Sirach 4 and 20, let's go to Sirach 4 and 21. This is Sirach chapter 4, verse 21. For there is a shame that bringeth sin. There is a shame that bringeth sin. And the shame that bringeth sin is not knowing the righteousness of the Most High. That's going to bring sin every time. Ignorance. Ignorance. Is, yeah. Uh, That's why the Lord said my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. That's what ignorance is. Ignorance is for lack of knowledge. So when you awake to righteousness, then you uh, are built up instead of broken down. Instead of being destroyed, you are built up. Righteousness builds you up. Sin tears you down. You got it. And there is a shame which glory and grace. And there is a shame which is, which, which is glory and grace. Right? Because we, like I say, we are made spectacle. Let's get that real quick, right? The people, you know, uh, they put us to shame for standing out here in these garments and preaching the word. You know? 
But guess what? What we're doing, this is the glory of the most high power. This is the grace of the most high power. No matter how much people look at it as a thing to frown upon, you know, or they'll say shame on you for cussing out people, and rebuking people, and standing out here on the street corners with the bike. Shame on you. Shame on you. Saying the Lord don't love everybody. Shame on you. <laughs> Shame on you judging me. Right. <laughs> Go ahead, Al. Yeah, this uh, First Corinthians uh, four and nine. For I think that the Mosiah has set forth us the apostle last, as it were appointed to death. For we are made a spectacle unto the world, and to angels, and to men. Yep. Yep. And they say, we are fools for your house, I say. We are fools for your house, I say. See? And that's glory. You know? People shame to represent. People, there's people that are ashamed to do this. Yeah. It's people that they look down and frown upon the glory that the Most High has set up. This is his glory. The prophets coming out here telling you the judgment of the Lord that's set to take place before it happens, that's grace and that's mercy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that was spectacle. Should have said something, Thorn? Yeah, I was going to uh, say, and like, it, it's, it's a trip when you, uh, with Jake, when you hear Jake talk out in the world, they always say, man, look at them, uh, them men out there hollering out there on the street, got on dresses. But here it is, y'all under these rappers, and they be putting on dresses. Right. Oh, oh yeah. Like, it's just well, rappers. Painting their fingernails, black The fingernail nail polish, you know, got the man purse. Exactly. Say a rapper got the, uh, got the dress on. And yeah, you would do it for the world. How you do it with the money, huh? Yeah. And why the Lord said, man, the wisdom of this world is foolish to us. That's right. And ain't no glory in it but the world. Oh, you know, the vain riches, you know, you doing what you do for a bag like the hit Uh Say so he here for the profit. He here, he here for the profits, right? Yeah. And when I heard it, it was a spirit that going with him. I'm going to do, see, he, he really drew inspiration, you know, because he got a song where he's saying he's here for the profits. And I thought he, he was saying, be here for the prophets, as in the men of the Lord, the prophets. But he's saying P R O F I T S. Yeah. But the scriptures say, What shall it profit for a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? It's no, it ain't no prophet here. The only prophet is to hear the prophets. <laughs> That's the inspiration right there. That's the title. <laughs> the only prophet is to hear the prophets. Got it. Yeah, I don't get the word spectacle. You know, like you were saying, you know, they mock us, talk, and shit like that, right? Yup. Astrology, number 302. Theater. Theater. Outline biblical usage, blue letter on Bible. It said, a public show, metaphor, a man who is exhibited to be gazed and made sport of. Hey, a Come public on. show, right? Yeah. So, uh, I got a precept. Go ahead, you keep going on there, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get this. Yeah, just say uh, a theater, a place in which games and dramatic spectacles are exhibit. You know, theaters. You know, a public show, right? Yeah, made sport of. So this is uh, this is uh, First Corinthians two and four, and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, mm -hmm. but in demonstration of the spirit and of power, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of the Most High. Now, give me a word of demonstration, First Corinthians 2 and 4. Because uh, the word spectacle meant a public show. So, <laughs> another way to say that is a demonstration. Well, the demonstration that you're seeing is the spirit and power of your awful shy working in the earth, man. Okay. Strong's G, 585, 
A pod like this. A pod like this. We said make it manifest. A demonstration. Whew. Manifestation. What did it say? Read it again. It said make it manifest. Manifestation. Showing forth. A demonstration. Proof. Proof. Right? Yep. So, uh, that's what the Lord told us to do. To come out here and foolproof the ministry. Defend the gospel. Show forth. Yeah. You know? What, what that was in the blue letter? Mm -hmm. See what it says. Uh, you got a definition? Right, it's not give me a head of Because, see, people get a kick out of this one way or another, whether to scoff at it, all right, or whether they themselves get kicked in the ass with a spiritual foot and get themselves in order, you know? And uh, <laughs> when you look at the world, especially, like, the Lord got a sense of humor, of course. But, like, when you look at these different comedians, the best ones are the ones that tell their jokes with truth in them. Like, to me, the, the best dudes that stand up comedians right now is like uh, Dave Chappelle, you know what I'm saying, uh, Cat, and uh, Chris, even Chris Rock. You know, now, I say that because quite often what they doing is telling you the truth. Like, he got the, uh, uh, Dave Chappelle got the NMNOP community so mad right now. And you know how they feel about uh, Cat Williams, you know? They, they get on his ass, like he damn near outcast the place. You know, they, they let him back in. But this last uh, stand up, that Dave Chappelle did when he was talking about the sodomite community. Man, he told a joke so cold that even they had to laugh while being offended by it. Like, dude, cold, man. <laughs> I wish I could remember the joke, but you know, I don't be watching that shit. It ain't like I watch that shit multiple times. I can't even remember what it was called, but he caught a lot of controversy behind it, man. You know? So, uh, and, and even Chris Rock with his last stand-up, where he was uh, dealing with uh, Will and Jada. You know, he caught a lot of controversy. Matter of fact, he caught so much controversy behind what he said, they cut the scene out of his fucking special. But how did he, he told him, he told the truth. Enemy yeah, because I tell you the truth. Hey, that's it. How about therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth. You know, what, what, what people that's in their superior state in earth where they on high want to hear about their destruction and their kingdom coming to an end? They don't want to hear that. They ain't making jokes about it as well. Right. They don't want to hear that, man. But it's the truth. And then we tell them the truth in such a fashion where they can't deny that they deserve every last judgment they're going to come upon them. So far, white man know he, he needs to go on slavery for what he did. He know that. He know he got to pay for what he did to the Native Americans. He know that. He might not want to hear it. It's not comfortable to hear it, but it's the goddamn truth. Go ahead, bro. This demonstration in the etymology, late 14th century, proof that something is true by reason or logical deduction or practical experiment. <laughs> Proving that something is true. So it's being proved through the spirit of power, Yahweh Hashem, Shah, and it's being done publicly, man. A public showing of the truth. You got it up. One more. It said, to point out, reveal, show, which is related to divine omen wonders. Related to divine omen wonders. Divine means from above. Okay? Ultimately, the Holy Spirit. So that's what it is. That's what a demonstration is. A real demonstration. 
That's exactly what the Lord's coming back to do. Yeah. To demonstrate what? His power. Yeah. He comes back. He said, well, I would not meet thee as a man. So he's going to show forth all his power. And guess what? He's bringing the angels with him, which he don't have to do. Yeah. He's just showing you this is what I got. And then show my kingdom fight. Yep. You know? That's it. But uh, please help. Yep. On the ground. Come it's uh, from the brother Mawap 2 out of 1. Hey, Shalom, Matthew, y'all, for some of y'all, brought the He got a uh, Joel 15, 20, and uh, 21. Joel 15 and 20. It said, The wicked man travel tra travel it with pains. Travel it? Yeah, travel it. Like, the wicked man travel it with pains all his days, and the number of years is hidden to the oppressor. Yeah, the number of years. The wicked years is hidden to him. You know? And what he's trying to figure out is how to prolong it. You know, he loses sleep trying to figure out how to keep his kingdom afloat. In the streets. <laughs> what the scripture said. Go ahead, I. It said 21, a dreadful sound is in his ears. You know what that sound is, right? Yeah, the sound true. of the prophets. Yep, his word. demonstration of truth. That's in his ear. Yep. Through the YouTube, reaching all the way up to his uh well economic form. That was that was that, that, that's what I was looking for the other week. That I couldn't call to mind. Uh, you know, his well his well economic form, which a form goes into a council, yeah. a seat of judges. Yeah. <laughs> so that's in his ear. Oh man, you know about these men, it's on the uh, street corner. You know, they prophesying the Rod King of being destroyed, and they said that the UFOs are the vessels of uh, the most high. And the angels in there, the vessels gonna destroy us. You know, it's our brothers. You know, that's their brothers. So, what are we gonna do? Because we can't deny that the UFOs are real. What are we gonna do? And they are posting our plan before, <laughs> before we even come together. They, they already know about it. It's like they, you see? They in streets. You know the brother from uh, London, I believe the elder? He had the dream, he was uh, with the Mars town. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, what about the UFO? I, I, I ain't hear that. I ain't hear that video. Pitiful, that that yeah, you can uh, yeah. vision, vision right there. Yeah. That boy in streets. Yeah. I'm gonna read this in the NLT too. Uh -huh. Cause hey, when you when you hear stuff like the internet apocalypse, internet uh, shutdown, why? Ain't for a, a nigga arguing on Facebook. Right. Ain't for uh cat uh playing with uh balls and shit. You know, playing with yarn. Why why are they talking about that? They're talking about because of us. And that's why when the society collapses, they gonna blame us. They like a pump the finger to us. We the reason why we in this lockdown. We the reason for this. <laughs> you see? No. But this uh Joel 15 and 21, a dreadful sound is in the ears and prosperity, the destroyer should come upon him. Now, check this out in the NLT. And the destroyer, you have a shot. It's gonna come upon him. Hey, Paul, I did a 63, man. Yep. Oh. <laughs> it said, uh, 21, uh, Joel 15, and 21, the NLT, the sound of terror wings in their ears. And even on good days, they feel the attack of the destroyer. Even on good days, they feel what? They feel. They fear the what? The attack of the destroyer. Of the destroyer. Yep. What up? Is it cruel or destroyers? Yeah. Yeah, because really that's that's the house shy, but the house shy has a host. The angels, right? They coming. They know it. Are we telling you? They know it, man. Uh is it more right there? I mean, that's the point. Yeah, jump to Jeremiah 4 and 7 real quick. The Jeremiah 4 and 7 is the water for that piece of the water. Yeah, the water uh, of what? Two out of one, which is uh, death to eat them, man. <laughs> death so to eat them, man. That was the perfect scripture for us to segue. We had Isaiah 63 loaded, man, the water. Yeah, it said Jeremiah 4 and 7, the lions come up on this thicket. And the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. The destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way, man. 
the line is coming out of his thicket, man. You know? And, and the thing about the best, the best lions are those that have a well kept pride. Those are the ones that survive the longest in the jungle. You know, so when the lion comes, they come in packs, man. It's a sidewalk. Y'all got it, man. We just we just we just putting on a demonstration. Y'all good. It's all good. Ain't no disturbance. Yeah. So when them lions come, come man, they come in packs. Don't be, hey. So them cherries that you seeing, hey, they they coming, man. They ain't coming one. That's why you seeing multiple sightings, you know, all over. And then they trying to throw shade, what we call shade, right? I'm trying to say that, you know, they green, uh, you know, the big big eye, you know, these. Which we know what the angels really look like, but that's not to say that the Lord can uh had the angels show them uh of like frightening images. Like, okay, y'all wanna lie and say this is what it is? Well, well when you see it, this is what I'm gonna show you. What you what you you know what I'm saying? You trying to put that out there? Cause the, them them angels can disguise themselves, man. Yeah. The angels got power to manipulate elements. That's why they had the, the certain footages of the UFOs where they, the guy said that the, the, uh, the UFO descended from 24,000 feet in the air down to the ground level in, in, in like one second. How can, you, how can you defeat that? Right. How can you defeat, we, we saw you, were you out there that day? We was on Riverside and the chili came up and stop and put it uh, and put it in reverse. Yeah, it went in reverse. It just put it in reverse. Yeah. It disappeared. Yeah. It went that way and said, oh, I'm going the wrong way. Right. Go ahead. You know? Just, just changing, instant changing of direction yeah. in mid air. Can't stop this. Ascending and descending at will. Appearing and disappearing. Shape shifting. Even going down into the, going down into the waters. The Come on, man. They ain't got no question for that. They, I mean, they don't got no answer for that. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's about the angels. Yeah. You see, like they counted uh, judges, uh, 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 Samson Monk, uh, parents, and he looked too. Yeah. They're just an angel. You know, then Ezekiel, you know, four faces. So, you know, so, hey, man, it's scary, man. You don't want to see no angel. Yeah, nah. You bug out. Nah. If I can say, cause mind you, you got Esau equipment, it's mortal thinking. But you got, you dealing with the Lord while I heard, man. This immortal thinking, man, you dealing with some hot angelic forces. Yeah, angelic power. Like, man, it's no way in here. You gotta be bugged out. You gotta be a basic Esau. Crown as hell. Yeah, you, think you, can, you can battle against the Lord yeah. in his armor. And think you gonna win. It's, yeah. That's independence, man. He came out with a whole movie. Yeah, his mind is so powerful, he had to come out with a movie and, and, and say he won. That's a movie, nigga. That's not reality. In reality, you lost. <laughs> so going back to Jeremiah 4 and 7, it said the lions come up from his thicket and the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. He's gone forth from his place to make that land desolate and that cities to be laid waste without inhabitants. That's it. That's the, and that's the end all be all of America and the Shahidu kingdom. It's going to be laid desolate without inhabitants. Right? So we go to Isaiah 6 and say, it's all the way to point. This destroyer of the Gentiles, you're talking about Nebuchadnezzar, right? It's twofold. Twofold. Their brother says it's twofold. Yeah. But, yeah, it's, that's your hot shot, bro. Yeah. Go ahead. This is Isaiah chapter 63, verse 1. Who is this that's coming from Edom with thy garments from Basra? Yeah. This that is glorious in his apparel. Uh -huh. This that is glorious in his apparel. Who is this that's coming from Basra? Right? The one the world he calls Jesus Christ. This is a vision that the prophet Isaiah had of him. Right? Go ahead. Travailing in the greatness of his strength. Travailing I in the greatness of his strength. Go ahead. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. So this is the voice of the Lord 
He told Isaiah, it's I. It's me. <laughs> Go ahead. Because there's only one that has the power to save. Get the precept that bash that. It's only one that has the power to save, man. James the James Paul. The James Paul 12. There's one lawgiver who's able to save and to destroy. Who I doubt the judge is another. There's one lawgiver that is able to save and destroy. Okay? So. When you're reading this Bible, whatever precept that you go to, and it talk about destroying Gentiles and having power to save and destroy, ultimately that power is goes to your house shot. You know? The house shot is the one power that the Heavenly Father has set up for judgment to go forth with. All judgment has been uh, given unto him. Alright? So let's go back to Isaiah. It's back at Isaiah, chapter 63, verse 1. Who is this that coming from Edom with thy garments from Bosnia? Yeah, out of one, right? That's the Hebrew word for Edom, out of one. Go ahead. This that is glorious in his apparel. This that's glorious in his apparel. Now, is it talking about actually what he's wearing? He's coming in such a fashion when he comes he's going to be glorious in every aspect. Like the chariots, so-called UFOs, the number and multitude that he's coming with, that's his glory. Okay? He's, he's going to be covered by the chariot. Go ahead, bro. Travelling in his greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness minded to save. Well, See, because they're talking about how he's traveling. Traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to say. Now get Revelation uh, 19, right? Get Revelation. It tells you how the Lord coming and what he's coming to do. Amen. The scripture's going to tell us. Go ahead. It's Revelation 19 and 11. And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And he that said upon him was called faithful and true. No. And in righteousness he do judge and make war. And in righteousness he do judge and make war. So that's that's the glory that the Lord is coming with. He's coming with righteousness. And he's coming to judge. And he's coming to make war. He's bringing war in order to establish that righteousness. So we go back to Isaiah. Back at Isaiah chapter 63, verse 2. Wherefore art thou red in thy apparel? Yeah. <laughs> and I and I garments like him that treadeth in a wine fat. Why are you red in his why he red in his apparel? Why so much blood involved in this? Yeah. You know, why I'm seeing all this red? Because it's gonna be a lot of bloodshed. Go ahead. I have tried in the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me. Right. So trying the wine press is symbolic of a man stomping grapes. <laughs> the Lord likens the people on the earth that he's going to judge to grapes. When he comes to judge the earth, he's going to stump all the wicked. Right? And he said, when he do that, he's going to do that alone. There ain't going to be nobody stomping like Martin said. Stomping with the big dog. <laughs> he gonna be the big dog. Ain't gonna be nobody that's gonna be able to do nothing in the day when the Lord comes with his judgment. Yeah. You had something quick, huh? Go ahead. Jeremiah 25 and 33. And the slain of the Lord shall be at that day for one end of the earth, even to the other end of the earth. That should not be lamented, neither gathered nor buried. That should be dug upon the ground. Yep. Yep. That's it. From one end of the earth to the other. The slain of the Lord should be many. Cool. I guess this is the thing. Can I get that up? Yep. This is Isaiah 66 and 15. For the for behold, the Lord will come with fire, and with chariots like a whirlwind, 
to weather his anger with fury in his rebuke with flames of fire. Go ahead. For by fire and by his word would the Lord plead with all flesh. Go ahead. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. One in and up to the other. See? He, that, that's him saying. Because see, that's Isaiah had more than one, one vision, right? And in this vision, it's likened the Lord's judgment as a man stomping grapes in Isaiah 63. But in Isaiah 66, it's really more literal. It's really more literal. Because <laughs> that's like fire is actually what the Lord's going to physically judge this earth with. Yeah. Through the thermonuclear missiles that these nations possess, the spirit of the Lord is in there. Uh, you see? And then the, the fire that's going to come out of the chariots, you know, we're talking about the Lord traveling in the glorious, the glory of his, uh, his apparel, his glorious apparel, traveling in the greatness of the strength. Well, the strength and the power of those chariots is going to have a uh, concentrated uh, fire, what you would say lasers. But it's going to be fire unlike anything that's ever been seen on the earth. And in the most high so cold, he gave Esau lasers. He gave Esau it's like, lasers. It's like a few things. Right. <laughs> but see, Esau lasers ain't going to compare to the lasers that's going to be coming out of the, the chariots. Most high gave this nigga weapons. Yeah. Put his laser out of the sky. Yeah. Oh, Esau, you lift the Gave him fire. power to greatly be feared by. See, yeah. Esau Edom has been given God like power because he got the sword from Isaac who was Yahweh Shah in the spirit. Like all these are wanted to be made fire come from him. Come on man. Yep. He, he had miracles. <laughs> yep. You know? Miracles really go with the spiritual power. Yep. So yep. on the left hand side he saw he even got spiritual power that he got from Yahweh Shah. Yep. You know, he got from the Lord. Yep. But well, how you gonna beat like uh, the apostles always make the joke, what they say, uh, what they say about the master, you can't teach the professor, they like, you can't, <laughs> uh, you know, you're making that, that little side joke. So, Yahweh Shah is the master, that's what Lord means, master. Yeah. So, how you gonna, over, like, how you gonna uh, trump your master? Like, he saw, he gave you the sword. <laughs> You think you're gonna use the sword to defeat the man that gave you the sword? <laughs> that ain't gonna work, bro. That don't make sense. That don't make sense. It makes sense to him because he's proud. Yeah. See? When you proud, your own your own voice and your own logic makes more sense than the most high. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Quick, quick, this is an NLT. I That's why Salaki like say pride wasn't made for me. Yep. You got it out. Isaiah 15 NLT, the Lord will punish the world by fire and by his word, he will judge the earth and many will be killed by him. That's it. So the Lord going to come and, and show that, hey, above all powers on the earth, he's to be feared above all. Yeah. Is that is, uh, Romans 13 tell you there is no power the only power is of the most high. And in that power, uh, he said uh, he's made everyone subject to those to their order. So, you know, we, we in subjection to Esau Edom right now. So that's a level of fear. You know, you just take to get into this truth and then they think that Esau Edom just supposed to, you know, and he ain't set it up for Esau Edom to bow down and kiss our feet right now. The lower level Edomites might do that, you know, but in reality, <laughs> they're going to always, until Yahweh Shah comes this way, they're going to always look at themselves as above us, you know, because they got that spirit of uh, pride, that pride, that proud spirit, and they in their rulership, so like, they ain't feared by us, like, they fear about what we're saying, the power that we're going to receive. But <laughs> until it actually happens, because Esau's not a man of faith. So we see it 
happening before it happens. Him not seeing it is like, ah, oh, that sound good. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, the second chapter, that's yeah. true. Yeah. If it all was, be true. Yeah. But see, the Lord, how he got everything in his total control is those little glimpses of the chariots and the UFOs that Esau Edom see makes him think twice about coming to touch us, mm -hmm. coming out on the highways and, you know, and, and actually just coming down with that persecution right now. Because believe you me, they hear what we say concerning the UFOs. Yep. Just like Drake just dropped a, uh, uh, a concert recently. He had a concert or something. The other night the sock box was showing. He got the he got the cherry on the stage and the beam coming out of the cherry while fire coming down. He performing. Uh, That's his backdrop. Yeah, like he getting beamed up. Yeah, like he getting beamed up out of the uh, destruction. So, you know, that's like like the elder say, they know about us. They know about they know about us, they know what we teach concerning the UFOs and the chairs of the most high, and they know what we teach concerning the uh, nuclear destruction coming on America. They know. Hey, they had an uh foot locking commotion, the weekend greatness. Yeah. They had an E for my so called Port of Weekend and yeah. the Port of Weekends all Israelites. Yeah, with the baby and Megan uh the stallion yeah. And, yeah. Yeah, he said we can be mo it's all chaos going on. But he said what the leg where he can't be mo. So they know about it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. They know about it, man. <laughs> they know about the leg, man. Yeah. And he and he know. He even got that song. Uh, they, they say, this song, they, they know. They know. They, they, they know. know. They know. They know. Oh, yeah, you already know they know. And, 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 and they say, the real is on the rise. Fuck them other guys. <laughs> you know, don't they got a space force? Yeah, they can like, yeah, yeah, yeah. got a space force. Yeah. <laughs> what you need that for? <laughs> what, what's in space? What's in space? <laughs> uh, they even got a special... Uh, they even got a special uh, group put together just for the study of UFOs. It's a guy, his name Jeremy something, I can't think his last name, but he, he's specifically dedicated to studying and searching out the UFOs. Can't think his last name, but his first name, uh, Jeremy. If you Google Jeremy UFOs, uh, his, he, he should come up. Uh, Jeremy UFOs. Name, his whole name should come up. It might. So where you at? Description right here. Uh, right. Yeah. I know. I, I, I want to say his name. His first name is German. I can't think of his last name. UFO specialist. UFO specialist. That's what he calls it. Some type of UFO specialist. You don't see nothing. That's it. It's all right. If something come up, let us know. Keep reading now. It's back at Isaiah chapter 63, verse 1. I have tried in the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me. Yep. For I would tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury. <laughs> <laughs> and their blood <laughs> shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment. Right. Again, that's not literal. The Lord ain't gonna get no blood on him. Go ahead. It's right. Revelation chapter 19, verse 13. And he will clothe with vesture dipped in blood. And his name is called the Word of the Most High. And the army which were in heaven followed him upon the white horses, clothed in fine linen. White ah, there's a spirit of white horse right there on the trunk. Oh, come on, it's a white horse on the back of the truck, man. That's cold. Go ahead. It ain't gonna be like no pecker seat. You know, <laughs> talking about the, uh, talking about the yeah, man. It ain't really talking about an actual white horse. That just represents pure power that the Lord's coming with. But that's, 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 that's beautiful, though. Yeah, look, 144. That's beautiful, right there. Call all y'all, my shit outside. Yep. Go ahead, bro. It's Revelation chapter 19, verse 14. Mm -hmm. And the armies which were which were in heaven followed him upon the white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. 
and out of his mouth long and, and white clean, you know. So like, it ain't like it ain't gonna be no contest really. So it's just the blood is symbolic, you know what I'm saying? Because really, the Lord is coming to cleanse the land. Like the scriptures say, what is that in all? Is that the land cannot be cleansed? In Numbers 35 and 33. Right. You can grab that. So what that blood actually represents is the innocent blood that Yahweh Shah shed his blood for. He's coming to redeem that blood. Yeah, once the Lord defeated them, it was like over with. Yeah. No. Ain't no, ain't no actual physical blood gonna come in contact with the Lord. He ain't, he ain't, gonna, he ain't gonna touch the Lord. It's gonna, he gonna, it's gonna be like a, just a complete annihilation. No contest. He said, uh, they say, who should not be utterly beaten to powder in his presence? You know? It's Numbers 35 and 33. So you should not pollute the land where you are, for blood is defiled the land. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. By the blood of him that shed it. So the innocent blood, the Lord, he's coming to redeem. Yep. And all of those that have shed innocent blood, and see the Lord judges nation. So specifically, most importantly, we're talking about the so-called self-proclaimed white man, who's biblically in the Bible known as Esau Eagle. That's his true identity. And that's why Isaiah 63 is specifically talking about Esau Edom is where the Lord is going to concentrate his judgment. That's the nation he's concentrated, his judgment is concentrated. His wrath is concentrated on Esau Edom. Because he has shed the most innocent blood. Since they have not hated blood, even blood should pursue you. Go ahead. It's back in Isaiah chapter 63, verse 4. For the day of vengeance is in my heart, in the year of my redeemed is come. See? Vengeance is in the Lord's heart, and the year of his redeemed is come. Now, uh, this is scripture can tell you who the Lord's redeemed is. Israel my redeemed? Right? Yeah, Israel my redeemed. Isaiah, let me see. You know? Was there more on that though? No, that was it. Yep, I got one. This is this what I was this, this Isaiah 54. Okay. It's Isaiah 54. Uh I'm gonna start at five. <laughs> For thy maker is thine husband. The Lord Yahweh of hosts is his name. And thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the power of the whole earth shall he be called. For the Lord Yahweh hath called thee as a woman forsaken and grieved in spirit, and a wife of youth, when thou was refused, said the, said the Most High Power. For a small moment I have forsaken thee, but with great mercies will I gather thee in a little wrath, I hid my face from thee for a moment. But with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, said the Lord Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, thy redeemer. So, in that wrath that the Lord brings upon the earth, we gonna be scared. <laughs> the Lord gonna be getting down. Like he coming to save us, but first things first. He coming to get Esau Edom ass. And Esau Edom know. In their spirit. Like damn, I just feel like it's some shit I'm gonna have to pay for one day. <laughs> I'm talking about the lower level Edomites. They know. Yeah, they know. But see the elites, they know no. Like they, they know for sure, because they got the records. You know? But you men, you, you lower level Edomites, you know, you somewhat, you know, have uh, lived deliciously off of the benefits of uh, having uh, the Lord's chosen people in captivity. You know, you inherited 
uh, certain lands and uh, royalties and, you know, and not only that, you are, you are people, you are people that's looked at in the earth, uh, highly esteemed, and you, you look at as the people of the most high. You know, I don't give a damn how low level an Edomite is. If he go, if he go to other countries, shit. If he tell you to get an Edomite bomb off the street, clean his ass up, give him a shave, and put him on some decent clothes, some slacks, and some shoes, and a fake ass watch, and take him to one of them, one of them third world country shit, they might crown his ass the king. You know, in certain places, but in, in certain places, goddamn it. These other nations know the devil. The devil. Like uh, uh Ace Ventura, the second jump. <laughs> they had uh got uh Jim Carrey and made his hair like horns and shit. They would call him White Devil. <laughs> White Devil. Yeah. I think it's some part of Africa is like he's not going to go there. He can't go. Yeah, it's certain parts he can't go. Yeah, he can't go out. He, some, some parts of the earth he can't go. No, he can't go. But now, unless he coming go. with that military. It's like you got out. Unless he coming with that military, man. You know? And the, and the Lord's wrath, let's get that. Uh, it's reserved for the wicked. Say, uh, I'll read that again while y'all grab it. It's back in Isaiah 54 and verse 8. In a little wrath, I hid my face from thee for a moment. Because just like I remember, not too long ago, after the song came did a video, and he was talking about the Lord come to judge the earth. All he going to see is red. Like he just going to see red, man. He ain't, you know, we're going to be kept through the angels, Lord willing, we the elect. We're going to be kept from it. But it's, it's going to be like, damn, everywhere we turn, there's going to be some shit going on. <laughs> damn, it's fucked up around here. Hey, it's good saying Taylor should make him afraid on him. It's yeah. like Job 18. Yeah. Well, yeah. he said, but shall no, uh, some touch me, shall no, uh, uh, hey, come down that, uh, drill. Yeah. My son's from the war. Yeah. Hey, All right, man, how y'all doing? Doing great. Go ahead, bro. Doing great. This, uh, Job 21. Can I start 29? Yeah. Uh, 28? Yep. 27. Start when you like. Job 21 and 7. Behold, I know your thoughts and the devices which ye wrongfully imagine against me. Yeah. Why do you even imagine the same thing? 28. 28. For you say, where is the house of the prince? Where are the dwelling places of the wicked? Have you not asked them that go by the way? And do you not know their tokens? That the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction. And that's what we out here tell. That's, that these are the tokens right here. These prophecies that we breaking down to you. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. These are the tokens. And we're telling you that the wicked is reserved for destruction, for wrath. Go ahead. Yep. That Job 21 30, that the wicked it was of to the day of destruction, that should be brought forth to the day of wealth. Who shall declare his way to his face? And who should repay him what he had done? All right, who should declare his way to his face? The prophets. We declare his way to his face, and the Lord gonna repay him for what he's done. <laughs> but see, the Lord, who you're hitting to call Jesus Christ, he's the, that's why scripture say a prophet uh, shall be raised up among our brethren. The Shah is that prophet that's going to execute the judgment that we're declaring before your face. Mm -hmm. Esau, Edom, and your kingdom is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. And the wrath of the Lord, his spirit is in those missiles. Yeah. He said, yet shall he be brought to the grave and shall remain in the tomb. Remain there, man. Because once the kingdom of heaven uh, be established on earth, he's going to finish how his sin is a thousand years of slavery. Yeah. He gonna be done away with. Yeah. Just like they say, ain't no more dinosaurs and shit become extinct. That's Esau, man. Yeah. Rightfully so, man. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, hell in the grave is synonymous. You know, so because uh, 
that's what he's about to catch. Period. <laughs> Almost an oxymoron to say that. Pure be hell. <laughs> Holy hell. Holy hell. You got some thong. Yeah, I got this one in NLT. Go ahead. This is Nahum chapter 1, verse 9 in the NLT. Why are you scheming against the Lord? <laughs> he will destroy you with one blow. What? One blow, man. <laughs> <laughs> he won't need to strike twice. His enemies tangled like thorn bushes and staggering like drunks will be burnt up like dry stubble in a field. Who is this wicked counselor of your who plot evil against the Lord? That's, and that's it, because, you know, ancient Nineveh, you know, <laughs> boy, man, I mean, that, that's it, because in America, right it's, um, it's like all the kings of combat still do, you know? You know, it's what wicked. This is what the Lord says, though the Assyrians have many allies. Hey, Esau, Edom are the modern day Assyrians. They say, though they have many allies. Who got more allies than America? Right? America is the modern day Assyrians. Go ahead, bro. They will be, de be destroyed and disappear. <laughs> oh, my people, I have punished you before, but I will not punish you again. Now I will break the yoke of bondage from your neck and turn off the chains of Assyrian and oppression. And this is what the Lord says concerning the Assyrian and Nineveh. You will have no more children to carry on your name. I will destroy all the idols, temples of gods. I am preparing grave you because you are dis despicable. What? Despicable. Damn. Damn. Sound like hate to me. I don't know about Sorry. you. Hey. Uh, hey, what's that? Isaiah the 14th chapter? What's that? Um, uh, um, sons Ooh. and nephews. Listen to the kingdom of heaven. You know? Wow. Yeah, that, oh, what's the scripture say? You are greatly despised. Obadiah, the book of Esau. Ooh. Let's get it. You know what he's talking about? Esau, Edom. The book of Esau, the book of Edom. I still never forget when he was out here uh, when the brothers from Mississippi and the elders was shepherding us. He was, uh, he was uh, prophesying why this Edomite uh, woman <coughs> came up and uh, <laughs> uh, the other boy said, let's get the book up, let's get the book of Edom. I mean the book of Overdive. <laughs> 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 that's your book. Yeah. You know, that's your book. The so-called white man want to know, want to get a, get a, get a, a quick summary of their judgment. <laughs> yeah. Obadiah, one chapter says a whole lot. Yep. You know? Hey, they show you how the Lord, his word is so cold because uh, we always talk about how you say, uh, say more by saying less, like uh, use fewer words. Yep. They're like, Shh, Obadiah, See, Obadiah, Obadiah did. did it. Straight to the point. You know, said speak when, when need be. And he got one chapter. That's all he needed. Prophetic. <laughs> this Obadiah one, the one. The vision of Obadiah, and that word vision in Chazah one in the Hebrew going to our prophecy, divine communication. It said, thus said the Lord, the how could the son of Edom. So this vision is prophecy. The son of Esau, Edom, the Edomites. We have, a, we have heard a woman from the Lord, an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. Yeah. Continue like Three, you said the pride of thy heart had deceived thee. Thou that clearest, so like thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rocks, no cave, <laughs> what? That's why they got to say it's so easy that cavemen uh, can do it, man. You know, they put it right there in your face, man. Yeah, they dumb as hell. And but Joe was speaking about that. They grunt in the plant, in the caves, you see? 
They say, uh, whose habitation is high, that set his heart, who shall bring me down to the uh, to the ground. The pride of these devils. That's why you see everything was 50 story high. You know what like the mountains, the caves there. That's that habit. You know? Everything got be <laughs> over 10 story high, three story high, man. It said throw that exalt that self is the eagle for the food this time about East Island. You know. Look at the mountain. What, what's that simple? The eagle. Look at Wong. What is they say? The eagle. Right? And eagles is what? They the proudest bo uh, birds there is. They fly, you know, the highest, man. Okay. It said, though they exalt themselves as the eagle, and though they and throw down sit that nest among the stars, that's why I bring it down. Yeah. Yeah. He said it's nest among the stars, like he was talking about his US Space Force earlier, but before he set that up, you know, he had his uh, space expeditions, his Apollo, you know, he got his satellites up there in the heavens, you know, scoping out the scene. You know, he got his air traffic control. Because if you really want to know who ruled the Earth, look who, like, like the apostles say, look who controls the air. You know, to be a pilot, you got to know how to speak English. So, the number one Air Force uh, is uh, America has the number one Air Force, you know. And then, hell, you want to say next in line is Russia. It's a boat. It's the same meat. They're still Edomites, you know. So these, these are the people who the Lord is uh, going to bring down, though they exalt their nets amongst the stars, man. Okay? So, one thing about it, two things for sure, they ain't going to be able to stop the Lord's Air Force, right? Let's get that loop, you know, your favorite, so 21, right? I can read into it? Yeah, you can read into it. It's Luke 21 and 25. And there should be signs in the sun and in the moon and the stars and upon the earth and stretch of nations with perplexity the sea and the waves warm. Right, perplexity really go into confusion. Yeah. And that's all you got going on on the earth, especially in America. There's just a whole lot of confusion. I made a delivery the other day. And when I got to the door, the woman came to the door, looked so goddamn manly. Uh, I said, sir, you know, I called I call her sir, but then I, my initial thought was to apologize, but then when I looked at it, right, when I looked at it, I was like, oh, that was a compliment to her, because that's what she was going for, that manly, you know, she was going for that manly uh, appearance, so, when you, when you see a woman posing as a man, and you say, sir, damn, they're confused. Like, uh, did, I, did I insult you? Or did I, you know, uh, is that what you wanted? You know? Yeah. But now they're coming out with these laws, which I ain't know they was coming. I ain't know that's the spirit. I ain't know. You know, <laughs> it is what it is. That's the, hey, that's how you know the Lord said the spirit like the wind. As the midst of me saying that, it's one of them walking up, you know? But hey. Anyway, <laughs> got in the way of truck. Yeah. <laughs> so again, they coming up with laws now where you can be uh, convicted for calling them the wrong pronoun. Yeah. Pronoun laws. They had some too, like telling a uh, a Decepticon transformer no. Huh? Yeah. Decepticon. Oh yeah 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 yeah. A law where. You can reject, you don't have to allow them in your establishment. No, that too. I'm talking about if a Decepticon like you, you want to go on a date, and you tell them, no, I ain't going to be down like that. They can, you know, they're trying to make that a lot. Like, you got to... It's, 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 Let them down easy or some shit. Like, you can't tell them you don't get down like that. Yeah. What? Bullshit, See, man. shit finna get wild out here with this Ill elemental peak community, man. But like you and, said, and, and see, like... See, man, you know how Jake say, uh, I don't got no problem with it. We finna see. 
The Lord said, oh, you don't got no problem with it, huh? Oh, okay. We're going to see. But see, it is some jokes that's people that saying that they don't got no problem with it and they really don't get down like that. But them the ones that's going to have to start administering judgment, like drawing a line. The Lord going to have that pressure put on Jake saying shit like that. Oh, okay. It, it, it's stupid because they going after you kids. Yep. You got to draw a line, man. You got to draw a line. But like we were mentioning, yeah, they came out on, uh, what's that, um, June 30th? Yeah. They, they passed the bill to reject it. The businesses can reject the, the uh, LG R1 bill. <laughs> you know? You know, I got to throw a video down. Because, you know, he's up taking the video down, man. Yeah, yeah. Fuck him. Fuck him, you. You, get, you. you on your third strike, nigga. You ain't making no new, ain't making no new pages. Making ain't no coming back from your third strike. So it is what it is. But uh, go ahead. You had more than. You know, this is dry. You know, this is dry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got lost, man. Shit. Yeah. Shit. 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 And for looking after those things which are coming on the up. Right, like man's heart failing them because they don't know uh, this, the, the, uh, their estate, like if it's gonna last, like your uh, bank accounts, your, your job, and seeing these different uh, things come upon the earth, like unemployment and businesses shutting down, and you know, they don't know. What's next? They don't know what to expect. Well, that's just the beginning of it. That's just the beginning of it. Yeah, you know, like say, uh, the grinding season and they that look out of the windows. Be dark. Yeah, be dark and mean ain't no hope. Like, damn. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Go ahead, Bob. All right. It said, for the powers of the heavens should be shaken, and then should they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. You're foes. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draw at time. That's it. Yep, so so <laughs> we, that's why we always looking up. That's why we always upload these videos of so-called UFOs and UAP sightings. You know, because we understand what that means. That's the year of our redemption. We in that time right now. Uh, salvation is, like it's good to say, nearer than we can be. Alright? So we're going to transition down into the main camp spot and finish out uh, the rest of the brothers. Manifest, 
even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed, shall be preserved from the said pearls and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them from me from the beginning. Verse 9, in 2nd Edward chapter 9, then shall they be in put up the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to uh, the, the regret. He's going to kick in right here. Now, here by now, two-thirds of the put up the case. They have no saint. They have no redeemer. You know what I'm saying? They have no one to break them out of their chains. You know what I mean? No one to deliver them. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? All right, he's saying that he's a all right, we're going to see him in the time of uh, Jesus. All right, we're all going to try to seek the earth at this time of Christmas. You know what I mean? Then shall they be in pitiful case which now have abused my way. What way? Why they didn't have to live? They free the Lord's way. You know, they're telling how the prophets out here warning and killing me. Isaiah 581, because of crying out loud. You know, showing you your transgressions. Showing you how to get it right. I don't make it right with the Lord. But what you do? Huh? Not right now. I got too much on my plate. Mm -hmm. I got five kids. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Nah, I ain't getting it. Guess what? It's going to be your party. Yes. You know, you got to take that bag. You got to get your money. All right, we're going to take the dog apart. You know, we're going to go. 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 Yeah, but this way, next day we're gonna get a presentation. Which that have abused my way, right. and they that have passed them away despitefully. The wrong way is what the law of Texas is doing. They're already told us to the first of us, right? They're the way of the Lord. They won't feed the Lord. We got it out. They cast them away despitefully, yeah. shall dwell in torment. And the torment is what they have. Whatever way the Lord sees fit, to get that judge. You know, he got many ways, some limited ways, man. we can die. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> many ways, man. You just don't have one. Go ahead. Verse 10. For such in their life have received benefit and have not known me, and they that have loved my law while they had yet liberty. Right, and you see that the Bible. Uh, you know, they prosper and visit I don't even care about the standard of the world. what they do is And when yet place of repentance was open unto them, the prophet did the holiday of the city. Understood not. And they got to say, God has it like a good man. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Akakodash. We come a honor to the elders, the apostles, the gym mess, and salutations and blessings to the Akim around the world, preaching and teaching the truth. We got to talk about it. Ababa, 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 Ababa,